Can you handle the facts? MLB Bro has facts validated by stats. I'm Brandon Kerr with MLB Bro, and these are the facts. Growing up in the 90s, all I knew was Michael Jordan, sports in general, and hip hop. When Jordan retired from the game of basketball and joined the Chicago White Sox, I took notice of the sweet logo that he, along with Bo Jackson and Frank Thomas, was rocking on those sweet striped jerseys. After watching the baseball games, I would turn on MTV or BET to see all the hip hop heads on the West Coast rocking the clean black and white baseball cap, and I was hooked. Fans of both baseball and hip hop always wondered what was the meaning behind hip hop and the Chicago White Sox. And why do guys like Kevin Durant and myself still rock the classic fitted cap to this day? This can all be explained in the new documentary, Fitted in Black, by the White Sox, which is dropping on August 24th. Here's a look at the trailer. If you go back and you watch a lot of those old West Coast hip hop videos, there's White Sox hats everywhere. It's over 30 years where it's been a mainstay, and I think it's time to tell the story, and it's time for it to be celebrated. The White Sox, when they switched that logo, man, it was like wildfire. This is part of the uniform. It changed the genre, it changed the sound, it changed how people dress. That black and white, man, that black and white works. It works with everything. That's a true people's crown. When I would see them with the White Sox hat, I knew they understood. It made a statement, but we had the players to back it up. It's like a staple now because it's too hard. It's one of the best ever. I would say it's been the most successful rebrand in sports. Take one. Got to get it right now. Yeah. MLBBro.com, covering black and brown major leagues.